Welcome to the first in a series of micro tours from the wonderful collection of musical instruments at St Cecilia's Hall, Concert Room and Music Museum. We will be focusing on the decoration of these instruments. Let's look at the double manual harpsichord made by Francis Coston circa 1725. In terms of design, this early Georgian harpsichord was bang up to date and on trend with the latest furniture designs of its time. But it's the soundboard inside that we are going to talk about. Of the 400 or so 18th century English harpsichords and spinets that still exist, only two have painted soundboards. Keyboard lids were often painted by fine artists, but decoration on soundboards was usually executed by craftsmen. Clearly, this particular soundboard was created by a very fine artist indeed. There is no documentation of who may have painted this. No one knows why they chose such fine, elaborate decoration. Was there perhaps a very talented member of the owner's household, possibly female, who may have painted this, hence the lack of documentation or signature? What do you think? We would love to hear your thoughts and theories.